Hello and welcome back to Super Mario 64, where today I have my Pro Controller back in hand and we are going to Jolly Rogers Bay. Because, yeah, it's where we're going. I must say, way nicer playing this on a Pro Controller than on a Joy-Con. And first, we have this secret star to get, because it's here. I can still remember when I was young, trying to get every coin in this uh, little mini stage. Thinking that, surely, if there are this many coins, there must be 100, and there must be a secret 100 coin star. There is no secret 100 coin star. There's nowhere near 100 coins. This is just here for red coins. The other coins are just, I guess, there to grab in case you are running out of health. And there's the star. Well, that didn't quite work. So this stage definitely did some things that basically traumatized me as a kid. I'm sure everyone who has played this knows exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, come on. Yep, there's the thing that I was talking about. Open up, Clam. Give me the coin. This thing terrified me when I was a kid. I always had to ask my brother to do this part for me because I just could not handle it. Um... Excuse me, I'm supposed to plunder the sunken ship. Why are you not coming out? Hello? I guess, uh... I'm misremembering how to get this dang eel to show its face. Come on out, buddy. I need to get into this ship. I can't do it with you in the entrance. Do I need to swim under your face? I mean, I probably need some air first. Yeah, plunder in the sunken ship. Come on, eel. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, what? When did you come out? And why? Well then. Okay, let's see. Do I remember the sequence? Um, well, not that one. Nor that one. Okay, let's go get a little bit of air before we run all the way out. Please, please, please. I hate drowning in video games. That's better. I'm pretty sure my hatred of drowning in video games comes from a mixture of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog and Banjo-Kazooie. Okay, so it's none of these three, got it. We start with you then. Excuse me, please open. Banjo-Kazooie specifically because Rusty Bucket Bay. I drowned in that stage a lot.
All right, and now let's try and do this the fast way. Way faster to swim up here than to walk up after the water's drained. Oh, also, uh, a thing that I learned between recording last episode and this one. When I tried to do a backwards long jump in bob -omb Battlefield, I mean, A, I've never really done a backwards long jump in any version of Mario 64, so it could be that I was doing it wrong, but it's also that this version of Mario 64 just straight up does not have backwards long jumps. So yeah, it's possible that it wasn't entirely my fault. Yes, this also, yeah, that always terrified me when I was a young, dumb kid, especially because if you uh, touch the eel, it does three damage and I don't have time to grab that. I probably also don't have time to get to the surface. Yeah, that's definitely too far. Definitely too far. Come on. Mario, no! I hate drowning in video games. I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Mamma mia. Shouldn't have tried to readjust my position to get closer to the eel. I was clearly already close enough. Also, I should probably stop going for that shell. It's slower to grab it than to just swim. Um, camera, why are you... Why was it so adamant on facing the bottom? I don't know if it's faster to do the quick pump swimming or the full swim. I think this is the fastest way, but when I was younger, I definitely always thought it was the when you could get it so that he was doing the little in the animation quickly. Come here, come here, come here. Give me that, give me that, give me, no. Well, I shouldn't be this bad at this. Well, that was interesting. There was definitely a time in my life when I was able to consistently get this star. Though it would probably help if I stayed on the surface until I was closer. Then I would have more health to work with, wouldn't I? Seems like the smarter plan. Why was I not doing it? Alright, buddy, come on out. Um... I don't know how Mario got repositioned like that, but he did. There. That's all we needed to have happen. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, grab that. So this is definitely not gonna be a no-death run. That much is clear by now. Though, I will... Wait, what was this? Ah, uh, Ocean Cave. Got it. If we're doing Ocean Cave, then that's the one to do the 100 coin star in. Yeah, um... Words. I was saying words. Uh, yeah. Not gonna be a no-death run, but... If I have my way, it will be a no-game-overs run. Of course, if I do end up getting a game over, I won't just stop playing the game. Like, I love this game. I'm gonna play it through to the end, regardless of what happens. I'm just gonna hope that what happens is good. Yeah, we're not hopping in that cannon right now. Mario 
Mario, please. Camera, please. Would have been nice if instead of emulating this game, they had actually just given us a new version with a camera that was modern. I've never had this much trouble getting up here. Alright, we gotta do a triple jump, come on. Well, we made it up. We're gonna have to go back up there at some point, but for now we're good. Camera, please, I don't want to look down. So we can't afford to miss that many coins in this stage. Because there are not that many to go around. We're going to have to get the vast majority of them if we want the 100 coin star. I mean, that's true of literally every level, but... We can miss fewer in this one than in any other level. It's got the fewest coins of them all. I kind of want that one up. I do not remember how many coins are in here. But I know it's a number. And I also know that I want to get rid of all the Goombas and all the falling things before I hit that blue coin switch. Ow. I don't know that I've ever been hit by one of those before. I definitely was not aware that they do three health in damage, which I guess we could shorten to just three damage. Okay, we need nine more coins. There don't appear to be any more in here. So we are going to leave temporarily to find the nine more coins. I don't recall where they are, though. Well, there's one. We just got very nearly yield. Isn't there a ring around one of these? No? Yes. Shame they couldn't have done something about the draw distance. Okay, there is our 100 coin star. And back into the cave, I suppose. Again, not a speedrunner. Yeah, yeah. It's this one, then that one, then this one, and then this one. I still remember some things. Here we go. Red coins on the ship afloat. So, we already did most of that one. Now we just gotta do it again. Open up!
and you. And you. Except there's also one way down below. Something that always amused me when I was younger. If you do this, you still count as being at the top of the water. Mario doesn't lose any breath or air or whatever. He can breathe with the soles of his feet through his shoes. That always amused me. Open up, clam. Open up, clam. There we go. I kind of wish Mario would keep his trajectory if you let go of the stick. Whereas what he does if you let go of the stick is he tries to reset to neutral. There's a lot of choices that they made with this game that are definitely not modern and have been improved upon in later games. Wait. Dang it. Forgot to climb all the way to the top of the thing. My bad. But hey, whatever. We get to listen to this nice music more. Which it always weirded me out that this music is named after Dire Dire Docks. Despite the fact that we first hear it here. Like, I'd get it if we heard it first in Dire Dire Docks, but oh, we can just run up that, apparently. Yeah, it's... I mean, I guess I associate it more with Dire Dire Docks. But still, we hear it here, and we hear it here first. Or in the secret place first. Either way, those are the two places that it can be heard well before you have access to Dire Dire Docks. And if we aim... A little better. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope, nope. It is so hard to do fine adjustment, but we got it. Except we were too low. We were way too low. Yeah. Trying again. So... How about right there? That's what we want to see. Hello. Here we go. Wasn't that star in a box in some version of the game? So, I know when I was a kid... I was positive the metal cap was 100% mandatory for this star. Speedruns have proven to me that that is not the case. I have never gotten it without the metal cap, but I at least know what they do in order to get it without the metal cap. And I just need to figure out how to apply that knowledge, apparently. Can you only come from directly above? And if so, can the camera please behave? I don't want to have to keep holding down on the control stick to ascend. 
I want Mario to just try and go straight if I, like, on his current trajectory, if I let go of the stick. That is what I want to have happen. That is not how this boy controls underwater. And I believe that's part of why I am struggling with this, because I want to have him be pointed straight at the star and then just go straight at the star. There we go. So yeah, no metal cap necessary. That's my first time in my life having done that. So, now we're done with that. Let's go do the secret slide. And once that's done, we'll call it an episode. Just seems like a good thing to do at the end. And I reiterate, not a speedrunner. I am not going to pull speedrunner times. Though I do know that they like bonk into that and then, or no, they bonk into this and then they jump off here and land on this without getting all smished. And then they go. Hooray, we did it probably faster than I've ever done it before, but still takes more than 13 seconds for me. Don't speedrunners do it in, like, 12-7? Yeah, that ain't me. I've got a lot to learn. And, quite frankly, I don't want to learn it. I'm not going to speedrun this game. It's... It's a game that I play for fun. For me. Come on. Come on. Get in there, Mario. Well, that wasn't what I meant to do. I meant to do the sliding kick, but I I pressed B instead of Y. Whoop. Dang it. Well, at least they don't take a life. You know what? I'm going to show off some content that you don't see in the speed runs. That being the whole slide. When I was a kid, I definitely took the shortcut at least once. But most of the time, I didn't take it. I felt really cool when I did take it. But most of the time, I didn't take it. It's not even that much of a shortcut. Well, I mean, it is, but... Like, I didn't save much time versus when I took it. So with that, we are going to end this episode. Join us next time when we go to Cool Cool Mountain. See you then, friends. <laughs>